PNS Angor was a Daphne-class submarine that served in the Pakistan Navy from 1970 to 2006. She was built by France and was a diesel-electric submarine. She earned renown when, in the 1971 Indo-Pakistani War, she sank the Indian Navy's anti-submarine frigate Inns Kukri with two homing torpedoes. This was the first submarine kill since World War II and it would remain the only one until a Royal Navy nuclear submarine, HMS Conqueror, sank an Argentine cruiser, General Belgrano, during the Falklands War. The sinking inflicted the largest number of casualties on the Indian Navy by the Pakistan vessel during the war which resulted in the loss of 194 Indian sailors. On the night of December 8, 9, 1971, Initial deployment, Angor was the lead ship of its class and was launched in France on 28 June 1968. The Pakistan Navy commissioned Hangor on 20 December 1970. Many of her crew members over the course of her time in the Pakistan Navy later ascended to senior commanding ranks within the Pakistan Navy. Her one-time commander, Commander Ahmed Tasnim, would later be awarded the Satara e Jarat, Pakistan's second highest military decoration, while her torpedo officer's Lieutenant A. U. Khan Electrical Engineer Officer Lieutenant R. A. Kadri and Lieutenant Farsi Bokhari would later command the Pakistan Navy and became senior four-star ranked naval officers. Angor was part of one of the Pakistan Navy's earliest submarine squadrons. During late 1971, tensions grew between East and West Pakistan. On 21 November 1971, the Pakistan Navy began operations in the area, deploying PNS Ghazi under the command of Commander Zafli Muhammad Khan to patrol the distant waters of the Bay of Bengal. Simultaneously, the Pakistan Navy deployed Hangor in the coastal waters of West Pakistan under the command of Commander Ahmed Tasnim. According to Admiral R. A. Kadri, the assigned mission was considered quite difficult and dangerous, with the submarine squadron sailing under the assumption that the dangerous nature of this mission meant a great mortal risk to the submarine and her crew. Both submarines were to maintain coordination and AMP communication throughout patrol operations. Hangor sailed in the early hours of the 22nd of November 1971 to patrol off the Indian Katiawa coast. As part of the mission, Hangor cleared the Manora Peninsula, or Myra Bay, Indo-Pakistan War of 1971. On midnight 2 December 1971, in an attempt to locate a number of possible enemy contacts, PNS Angor continued her patrol in a northerly direction to investigate radio transmissions intercepted by onboard monitoring equipment. Two contacts were picked up on passive sonar and were identified as warships. The initial range was 6 to 8 miles. The submarine began to stalk the contacts, but an early attempt to gain an attack position on the identified ships failed when Hangor could not match the surface ship's speed. The submarine's crew however managed to predict the target ship's movements and succeeded in working its way into a tactically advantageous position. Along the path of the patrolling frigates by 1900, on the night of 2 and 3 December 1971, Hangor, while lying in wait off Bombay, detected a large formation of ships from Indian Navy's Western Fleet which included cruiser Inns Mysore. As the Indian Naval Fleet passed by Hangor very closely, all transmissions were silenced to avoid detection by the Indian Fleet. Upon reinstating communications, Hangor provided advance intelligence of a possible attack by the observed Indian Armada near the Karachi coast and passed an alert to Pakistani forces stationed in Karachi. 
These transmissions were intercepted and identified by the Indian Navy. On 3 December, the Indian Navy dispatched two ASW frigates, INS Kukri and INS Kirpan of 14 Squadron, Western Naval Command. On 9 December 1971, 1900 hours, and Gore detected the possible signature of the two Indian frigates dispatched in response to the intercepted communication. Later, around midnight, Commander Tasnim ordered Han Gore to dive deep to carry out a blind approach and attack. The attack team concentrated on tracking the two targets as they gradually came within firing range. At 1957 the submarine fired a down-the-throat shot with a homing torpedo at Kerpan from a depth of 40 meters. The torpedo was tracked but no explosion was heard. It was then speculated that the torpedo has missed its target and the moment Kerpan sensed the torpedo, the captain of Kerpan realized that the ship was on under attack turned away at maximum speed. Han Gore had struck first but had failed to hit hard. As Kirpan fled the battle, Kukri, to its south, knowing the direction from which the torpedo had come, increased speed and came straight for an attack on Han Gore. As Kukri came in for an attack, Han Gore's attack team shifted targeting to Kukri, quickly obtaining a solution and fired a second torpedo. The second torpedo was fired on the approaching Kukri and was fired followed by a heavy and loud explosion as the torpedo impacted Kukri. Shortly before the impact, Han Gore detected the direct orders of Kukri's commanding officer Captain Mahendra Nath Muller ordering evasive maneuvers. However, Kukri was unable to avoid the torpedo. Han Gore moved into a position to search for possible survivors, however, with Kukri sinking in matter of two minutes all hands were lost. The casualty roster listed 18 officers and 176 sailors aboard Kukri. It remains as Indian Navy's most costly wartime casualty in terms of lives lost. Witnessing Kukri sinking as she did aggravated the commanding officer of her sister ship, Kirpan. Kirpan engaged Han Gore with a hasty emergency attack. Sinking a pattern of depth charges, Kirpan hoped to drive Han Gore into retreat. However, Han Gore continued the engagement, firing a third torpedo locked onto Kirpan's tail. Kirpan quickly disengaged and increased her speed and successfully evaded the torpedo, though it is reported that it had been damaged in the attack. Hangor disengaged by turning west towards deeper waters. Hangor continued to patrol for another four days till the night of the 13th of December 1971 when she returned safely to her berth. While celebrating her victory, the second half of the mission, Ghazi under the command of Commander Zafli Muhammad Khan patrolling in water near Visakhapatnam, Bay of Bengal, was allegedly sunk by the Inns Rajput. All hands aboard Ghazi died when the submarine sank on the night of the 4th of December 1971. Ceremony In a ceremony on the 2nd of January 2006, Han Gore was decommissioned from the Pakistan Navy. She was soon converted to serve as a museum ship at Pakistan Maritime Museum, avoiding the fate of many other PNS submarines bound for scrap. During the ceremony Vice Admiral Ahmed Tasnim inspected the ship for the last time. Vice Admiral Ahmed Tasnim Sitaria Ijarat and Bar had served as commander of Han Gore during the mission in which she sank Kukri. The transfer of this submarine from a floating dock to the land and then her transportation to Pakistan Maritime Museum far away from the coastline into the land was undertaken by the Pakistan Navy as a project and Commander Muhammad Sheikh Al-Naz was the project officer for this challenging task.